basically imposter syndrome is this belief that you are not as good as you have presented yourself to be, right? When people say, fake it till you make it, I guess, but in the meantime, you feel terrible because you believe you're faking it. You're really nervous that people will find out. So you're constantly trying to be perfect, to do your best, overworking, because you're trying to compensate for this deep belief that you don't deserve to be there. If you're sitting in that meeting and you're like, I think they're gonna find me out, I don't deserve to be here, are you gonna be raising your hand, offering suggestions, ideas? Probably not. So you're gonna stay quiet. And what happens with that is you may be overlooked for a promotion. And not only that, I think the company, they miss out because perhaps your idea, your suggestion could have changed the game for the company, right? So it's not just about you. Love this quote, so this, this comic. All these people really seem to have it together and I still have no idea what's going on. I guess maybe, I don't know if it helps you, but none of us know what we're doing. We're all just trying. How about that? That actually depresses me a little bit. Um, how about you, nobody else is like you, right? Your thumb, that thumbprint, literally nobody has that thumbprint. So even if you quote, don't know what you're doing or worried about being found out, no one can be you. Stop apologizing. Unless you messed up and you do need to apologize because you don't want to be a jerk. So I'm not talking about those kinds of apologies. I'm talking about the kind where, you know, we start an email by saying, I'm sorry that it took me a day to respond to you. Why don't we say, thanks for your patience, right? Women tend to say, I'm sorry for things that have nothing to do. You never should feel sorry for those things, but we're constantly, again, making ourselves small by apologizing. So I would say start counting, be observant of how many times you do kind of deflect or, or make yourself smaller in that way. Okay, make a brag book. I find this to be extremely, yes, helpful, but really important for when you are applying for work, when you are trying to negotiate a raise or get a promotion. Okay, so what is a brag book? A brag book is basically other people telling you that you did an awesome job and you, you keep track of those and they become your testimonial. For example, when you get an email from somebody or, or your teacher gives you, you know, a great grade with a comment, I take a screenshot, put it into a folder on my desktop, and when I'm having those feelings of imposter syndrome, I look at them. Because sometimes, well often, we are so hard on ourselves, way harder than anybody would ever be to us. So get that instant perspective. 